Southern, uh, Southern Nevada has made some explosive contributions to defense capabilities in the U.S. over the decades. The Nevada test site played a major role in the early development of nuclear weaponry in the 1950s and 60s and beyond. But on this day in 1962, the site witnessed the last test anyone from the public would ever see. Fox 5's Evan Leak explains. Starting in 1951, uh, the U.S. conducted 928 total nuclear weapons tests, uh, including 828 underground tests and 100 atmospheric or above ground tests. The last of those above ground tests took place just northwest of Las Vegas on July 17th, 1962. Its name was Little Feller 1. This right here is um, the device that would have been tested at Little Feller 1. This was fired from a recoilless rifle weapon system called the Davy Crockett. And for the Little Feller 1 test, this was launched about 2,700 feet away from where it was fired. And there were plenty of people on hand to see the results. There were 400 spectators observing the shot, including U.S. Attorney General Robert Kennedy. There were about 1,000 military personnel who were brought out to the site to perform some exercises to kind of simulate what it would be like if one of these devices was fired on a battlefield. Joseph Kent is the curator of Las Vegas' Atomic Museum. He tells us more about what those soldiers on the ground might have experienced. So this right here, uh, the Davy Crockett projectile, was actually the lightest and smallest uh, nuclear fission device that was uh, tested by the United States. It was about 51 pounds, so it was very small in comparison to some of the other tests that were conducted and all the other devices that were, were shot out there. This specifically was about three feet off the ground when it detonated, so very low level in terms of, of the height where it was detonated, also very low level in terms of the resulting explosion and radiation. After Little Feller, all near ground nuclear testing moved underground to address global concerns about radiation exposure. The type of testing currently conducted at what used to be the Nevada testing site is far more discreet and vastly more high tech. But Ken tells us the past has informed our nuclear present. This is a, a really key part of that of that history, and, it, and it's where we are today is because of the decisions made and the devices that were tested back then. Evan Leak, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. And the test site's operations weren't limited to a specific type or size of warhead or delivery device. He says the military brought a variety of munitions to the site as they were developed. We'll be right back.